Hey now, it's Little Paulette without the gang, and I am back with the recap of Our Kind of People, Season 1, Episode 3, Hot Links and Red Drinks, I think it's called. <laughs> now y'all know, it's about to go down in the bluffs. Angela's at a Juneteenth event, or maybe she's throwing it, and they got a Soul Train line. Angela's like coming down the Soul Train line, like, yeah, like Thelma with two little Afro puffs. And next thing you know, she turns around. Y'all don't know I'm dancing like Rerun, for real, y'all. I'm getting it like Rerun. But Angela turns around, and she sees her mama. Her mother comes up, and she's at the end of the Soul Train line, like it's her turn next. And she's like, Ma. And she's like, I gotta ask you so many things. And her mother's like, I'm still here. And Angela's like, For real? Then her mother's like, If I wasn't here, could I do this? And then she was like, Remember the Vaughn family dance? And they start getting it. Ah, they start getting it, y'all. And they dancing like we run too, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know. I don't know if y'all know this, but, you know, I ain't all that young. I'm 50 years old. I'm gonna show, I am don't know if y'all see my profile picture, but I'm going to show you what I look like at the end of this, okay? Because it's 420. Why not? But anyway, they getting it. And then next thing you know, a crowd of people just start getting in on a dance with them. And the mother just, like, goes all the way to the back. And she looks scared. And Angela's having, like, all these flashbacks, all these different memories that we've seen. Her talking about her mom. Her mom looks so scared. And she has something in her hand. I, I don't know if it was money. It looked like money. I don't know what the hell it was. Maybe it was a comb. I, I don't know. I gotta look at that again. Yeah, it was money. It was a stack of money. And then she looked sad. Like she was about to cry. And she waved. And Angela was like, Mommy, wait. Mommy, wait. Why did you sell me? And then it was like, mm, you know, like she just kind of faded out. And then you see Angela waking up, looking so sad. But then she started looking angry. She grabbed her mother's picture and she said, I need to know. And flung that thing across the room. Glass broken everything. You know, that caused me to do this, right? Way back, y'all. <laughs> Starting early. Next thing you know, you see Nikki doing it, doing the Vaughn family dance. And our piggy is like, hey, get it, girl, do that Vaughn family dance. Yeah, I'm doing it now, y'all. But I'm acting like I'm doing it. Put it that way. <laughs> yeah, and then. Angela come out the room like, hey, I'm picky. Like, you got some competition. She said, let me see. Angela started doing They started doing it together. They look so cute. Yeah. They got the house slash salon slash shop. I don't know what she calls it. Um, Looking so dope. Everything is decorated in the red, the black, and the green. With the key. Sissy. You got to know old school rap or be old school to know what I'm talking about. Or maybe just be from up north. Um, Not the red, black, and green thing. The whole little thing I said with the key. Everybody probably knows what red, black, and green stands for, black people. The red is for the blood. The black is for the skin. The green is for the land. Come on, puppy. Get out of here. I got a little Morky, y'all. He's on my shoulder. Oh, he might be messing with the mic. Get your little shelf down. You let him get down. I hope he didn't mess up the mic coming and sniffing on me. Excuse that if he did. But anyway, you know, um, I meant the song part that I said. The red, the black, and the green with the key, sissy. That part. X Clan. Um, there was something else I wanted to tell y'all. Oh. I'm sucking on a piece of candy because I've been sick all week. I would have been uh, recording more videos, but I've been so sick. I've been coughing. I got something from my grandson. Um, I, I watch him, 
And a lot of times he come over here with a runny nose or whatever, but I have asthma. So a lot of times when I get sick from him, he's okay, but I'm really sick. So this whole week I've been feeling really bad. So that's why my voice sounds a little hoarse like this. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Anyway, Angela is talking to Aunt Piggy about how happy she is that Nikki is thriving there. Because last year at this time, she was smoking weed and hanging around with a bad crowd. And Aunt Piggy was like, you freed her. You know, you brought her here and you freed her. You know, you did your thing. Out of my dream. Yeah, so Angela is putting red nail polish on the bottom of her. Um, man, I can't even think. The bottom of her shoes so they can look like little batons, I would imagine. And uh, Piggy is like, what you doing? And she's like, fixing these up so I can put my best foot forward. I told you, Angela's a hustler. <laughs> so... She has that small incubator uh, presentation today, so she wants to look like she can, you know, rock with the big big boys or big girls. Angela didn't sleep well, you know, from that dream she had. And she tells Aunt Piggy she just can't get over her mother selling her, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, Angela's like, you couldn't sleep either because I heard you up and down. I thought I heard a male voice. Or I heard voices, and you know that was Teddy. Visiting Aunt Piggy when Aunt Piggy pulled that gun on him from the end of the last episode. Meanwhile, Nikki is upstairs getting the posters that her and her grandmother had made for Juneteenth and they use every year. And her phone buzzes and somebody sent her a video of that fight. Remember I told y'all that Nikki beat the brakes off somebody at last school? She beat the brakes off her. Okay, you gotta see the video. YouTube probably won't even let you see it on here unless it's the show. It's not that it's bloody or nothing. It's just that she punching her like she is literally holding a punching bag, but she is holding this girl by her hair. And she is punching her with all her might. <laughs> it's not even funny though. But um she's looking at the video and she looks like disturbed at it and she kinda like throws her phone because uh I guess she was pushed into that. She's not, Nikki's really like a gentle soul, but I guess she said, I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Uh, Miss Lauren, uh, her dad bails her out of jail and they're coming home and she's like, I'm just so happy to be home. And he tells her to go help the mother with the Juneteenth celebration, you know, prepare, see if she needs your help. And she's like, she don't care about what I think. All she care about is this party. I forgot what it's called. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Morris or Raymond, her dad says, I think it's important to her because it's important to your Grandma Rose. And Lauren is like, if it's important to Grandma Rose, then why is she never here? You know I'm going way back. Way back, y'all. And he said, I don't know. Let's ask her. Raymond asked his daughter, Lauren, is Taylor out of the hospital yet? Has she reached out? And Taylor's like, I'm sorry. Lauren is like, not since she pressed charges. And he's like, I don't know what happened, but like exactly what happened on that yacht. But I can tell. Your relationship with Taylor is like very important to you. And she's like, Dad, I know you think it's just like some girl fight gone wrong, but or gone too far, but I like girls. I love Taylor. And her dad is like, and I love you. And he hugs her and he says, and I always will. Okay, so that is going to be the end of, what is it called? Red, hot links and red drinks. Oh my God, I could not think of it. You know why? Happy 420, y'all. Um, yeah, so this is the end of season one, part one. Season one, episode three, part one of hot links and red drinks. Don't forget to like, comment,
comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in part two. Thank you.